Mark Bikes Jr. in particular is basketball. What I'm going to show you today is the uh, a drill inspired by Chris Paul. We call it the Chris Paul Body Dribble Series. Uh, Chris Paul is one of the best at uh, creating separation, getting his body into the defender, uh, getting them off balance, and then taking advantage of them, whether it be with a shot, a mid-range shot, or going to the basket. Chris Paul is about uh, maybe 6'1", and maybe six foot, but he's a, he's a tank. But what he does a good job of doing is getting into the body, and that negates height, athleticism, uh, speed, quickness, all those things, all those intangibles, it can negate, that physicality can negate all those different intangibles uh, by getting the person off balance so that you can have a, a free look. So I got book with me, he's gonna, uh, we're gonna work on the concept real quick. So what we're talking about here is, come on, what I wanna do is I wanna attack my defender and I wanna get my body into his body. Oh, you can come up, Jay, you can come up. So what I wanna do is get my body into his body right here. From here, I got a lot of things that I can do. Now there's two ways you can do a body dribble, all right? I can do a body dribble with my inside leg where I come at him and I body dribble this way and then get him off, all right? Or I can do it this way where I do it on an open stance. So let's say I'm trying to go past my defender and I got shoulder to shoulder contact. But from here, I can get him off my body and then get, him, get the shot off. So now, instead of push off, what it is, it's more of a shoulder, uh, a shoulder uh, extension and then using the, the, the dribble. So what happens is, when I dribble here, I'm using this action right here, which is not this, I'm using this action right here to now get back and then see what I got. So in the, in the drill, in the actual situation, I'm coming at my defender, I'm here, and now if I have the shot, I shoot it. If I see he's coming at me, I can change direction and go the other way. So I'm gonna have a book demonstrate how you do it from a drill setting, all right? So I'm gonna do a little bit of rebounding. Book's gonna work on the, the training wheel drill to help this, to, to get, to help you figure out how to do this drill. So Book's gonna go in a stance, and he's just gonna just pound the basketball really hard, pound the ball hard, get into this driving stance, pound it, step back, and then he's gonna get his shot up, right? So we're gonna see Book do about two of these, all right? All right, here we go. Pound it. Go. Pound it. Let's try it one more time. Pound it. Now, the key, the key to this drill is when you pound it, you wanna pound the basketball and catch it high. You want to pound it here and catch it here because a good defender is going to look for that. Once they get once they get separated, they're going to reach low to get the basketball. So we want to do is we want to pound, and I'm coming back with the basketball all the way above my shoulder so now I can get the shot up. So when I pound, now I can get that shot up a lot quicker. Now, look, I want you to give us a couple of moves, and you can kind of mess around with it. I want to see you pound, in and out, and go, pound. Over dribble, pound, cross, or you can go pound and do a different, do a combination move and go by, make it left, and I'll pass the ball back out to you. So we're gonna look at how it happens when the defender pound, gets, the, gets that defender to go back, and then they retreat or lunge forward. How do you take advantage of them going to the basket? Here we go. Pound it, in and out. Good job, good job. Let's go another one. Pound it, in and out. Hey, hey. Good job, good job. Give me two more, give me two more. Pound it, in and out. Hey, hey. Good job, good job. Let's go pound, give me an over so Let's go pound it, pound it, pound it. Let's sell the shots, really sell that shot. And then throw the ball across your body and go get it. Pound it, sell it. One, two. Good job, so those are all different ways you can use this power dribble to get your shot off. Now we're gonna put it in the actual game time setting. So what we'll do is we'll have the chair right here. And look, you can start off a couple different ways. You can triple threat and go, okay? Or you can handle, handle, and then go. What you're gonna do is you're gonna attack this chair right here. You're gonna to get to this chair right here, pound it, and then shoot. So we'll have you go through a little, a little uh, uh, progression. Your first shot is going to be body dribble shot. You got to make it. Then it's going to be body dribble in and out layup. Then it's going to be body dribble crossover. And then we'll go one more. We'll go one more. We'll make it up uh, once we get to that fourth shot. All right, here we go. Change it up. Body dribble. Got to make it. Got to make it. Here we go. Come on, one more time, one more time, and then you can go, go to the next one. Here we go. Make the 
over here, catch it, step back, and get right back to this elbow. This is a move that Chris Paul does all the time, trying to get back to those elbows to get those 15 foot jump shots. Let's see if you got it. Bang, bang, hey, hey. Good job, good job. And there you have it. Good job, book. That's the, that's the, the, the Chris Paul uh, body dribble series. And then again, how will I do it? I like to do a lot of these uh, drills right at the chairs. And, and replace them with, fun, with, with uh, form shooting. Instead of, you know, uh, just getting by the rim and shooting the shot, I like to usually add a, a dribble move so that I can work on my dribble, work on picking the basketball up after a dribble, and get up shots uh, and work on my form that way. Again, because I don't have a lot of time, so I like to get as much in per drill as I possibly can. The second thing is I would do that drill for maybe five minutes, going right, going left, or maybe adding in an in and out move and then getting up my shot. After I do that for about five minutes of getting up my shot, going left and right, then I'll spend uh, five minutes just going one way. So I'm going to attack body dribble with my right hand for five minutes, and I'll attack body dribble with my left hand for five minutes, all right? Great way to work on uh, a concept that could hopefully get you separation when you're in traffic so you can either shoot, drive, or separate so you can now make passes and break down the defense. More drills to come and take this basketball.